Michael Dell back in the headlines for Bitcoiners. That's right. He sold $1.2 billion of his Dell stock. And of course, some of the Bitcoin cheerleaders are first to say, hey, maybe he's buying Bitcoin with this. As you could imagine, we did a little digging and we have a little bit of a different take on this. Let's dive into the recent Dell sale of those $1.2 billion worth of shares. Welcome back, everyone. Based on some of the less than hopeful action we've been seeing in the markets recently, you would think that it's all gloom and doom, but lo and behold, we've got Michael Dell to the rescue, and we've got some content creators, some, some Bitcoin cheerleaders that are saying, hey, maybe Michael Dell is selling those shares for Bitcoin. Publications like Cointelegraph are alluding that too with articles titled Bitcoin Curious Michael Dell says 1.2 billion worth of Dell stock. So all of this sounds really good. Now, for the people who are not new to this channel and have seen my Mr. 100 uh, clip from a few weeks back, or maybe it was last month, um, you'd know that Michael Dell isn't Mr. 100. And more importantly, right, where is all of this coming from, right? Why why is it that people think that, that Michael Dell is going to or has been purchasing Bitcoin? Well, I'll tell you, it all comes from this one random tweet. Back in June of this year, Michael Dell tweeted, scarcity creates value a phrase often associated with Bitcoin due to its limited supply of 21 million tokens and the rising demand, Bitcoin advocate Michael Saylor was quick to respond to him back that Bitcoin is digital scarcity. He later posted an AI-generated image of the cookie monster from Sesame Street enjoying Bitcoin-themed cookies. And of course, Bitcoin creators immediately started creating little stickers and patches and stuff like that, right? Of Cookie Monster eating Bitcoin, which I do think that that's totally awesome. Um, but there's no evidence here that that he's actually purchasing Bitcoin or that he has decided to start adding Bitcoin to the balance sheet. But that doesn't stop. That doesn't stop the Hopium cheerleaders from attempting to put that idea in your mind. There's many different reasons um, for CEOs to sell shares. Um, there's also many different reasons for them to, to buy shares. Um, there's also, in some cases, in some cases, these sales and purchases are already pre-planned. Now, this particular sale, I think, is what's important because I, in all fairness, I do not believe that um, this $1.2 billion stock sale has anything to do uh, with Bitcoin. And let's go check the actual form that was filed for Michael Dell. So interestingly enough, you guys can see from here, right? Um, you, can, you can see that there are a list, right, of securities. Talks about Class C common stock. They're talking about Class C common stock of Dell, okay? And as you move along the line, you can see over here in this little section for A or D, it's very simple. A stands for acquired, D stands for disposed. So he either bought or sold shares, okay? And, and, and you can see here, right, that this is what's really interesting. So these prices where you see zero, it's because he had options to purchase the shares at that price. It's essentially giving him shares for free. Uh, so to speak. So you could see here on September 16th, okay, he got 1.5 million shares for free. Okay, got 1.5 million shares for free. Now, you can see here again, just below, okay, he got rid of 61,000 shares, then 264, then 422, then 386, 119, 1.4 million, 17,000, 2,500. And then Look at this. The following day, again, there was an acquisition for zero because, again, this was an option. Okay, it's an option to purchase. So these are mo these are usually pre-planned. 
Okay. Um, and he purchased 25 million shares. So let, let's take a let, let, let's do some some quick math here. He sold 1.2 billion dollars worth of shares, but he was given for free, right? Free is in, of course, uh, free is in quotations because of course he's the CEO of the company. Um, but he was given for free 2.8 billion dollars worth of shares. So that 1.2 billion that he sold, if you ask me, right? We're in now we're in October. We're coming close to the end of the year. I'm gonna say that this is this is nothing but for it. This is just for taxes. Uh, I, I think that all, all this is is end of year accounting. He's got to make some sales. Um, yeah, I, I don't think this has anything to do with Bitcoin. And guys, right? Like I, I know I, I sound often like a hater because I, I bring the reality to it. But um, there's nothing worse than being led down the line by a Pied Piper that tells you that everything is just about to become incredibly amazing when they have no fucking idea what they're talking about, okay? They have no clue what they're talking about. They see these big numbers, oh, Sailor, Dell, oh yeah, this is gonna be great. Guys, these people, like, not everybody has the same motivation as you. Michael Dell isn't sitting in some echo chamber just thinking about Bitcoin like I am, right? He's not just sitting there talking about Bitcoin all day long. I'm pretty sure Michael Dell doesn't give a shit about Bitcoin, okay? Um, and again, right, it's just my opinion. Uh, who knows? Who knows if he really cares about it? But I'll tell you this. I'd rather take the realistic stance that doesn't get me wrecked where I'm actually paying attention to what these share purchases and sales are rather than being fed a whole bunch of ridiculous hopium nonsense that this guy's selling $1.2 billion worth of Dell shares so he can start his Bitcoin position. I'm sorry. I don't buy it. And until we actually see a real headline where Dell can actually prove that they're purchasing Bitcoin. This is all smoke and mirrors from the Bitcoin cheerleaders. Anyways, sorry for the once again, realistic take on things that are most likely not happening.